What is up guys and girls? So in this video, I'm going to show you the locations to all the missing persons and employees within Deep Storage and Cargo Bay. Now, a couple of worth mentions like I do at the start of each video is stay away from recycle grenades. If you recycle a body, it is gone for good and that would just suck. Secondly is the turrets. In this playthrough, I've simply just not repaired any turrets and actually destroyed any turrets I do come across because they do have the ability to kill phantoms without you being in the room and it would suck to look for phantom remains rather than the phantom itself all right let's get on with it okay employee number one we have jennifer lee which is right at the entrance to deep storage she is right there next up in the next room we have lynn cloyer And then we have Mary Page. Then we're going to swing around. This is part of the story as well, and this place is very small, so it's be difficult to get lost here. Inside this storage, we've got Heather Bents. Next one is going to be a Phantom, and he is in the data vault to the left, and that is Andrew Gray. Now I've just put in the footage here for the first time I came here just to show you that it was him. And there he is right there. And there's his corpse. Next up we have Akandi Benin. Who's that unfortunate fellow there. Now we're going to be ejected from deep storage. Now this is part of the mission I'm going to show now. this side up and at this exterior we're going to find three people which can only be found if you eject from deep storage there we go Tanner Vale is the first one now this is Dr. Igwe now there's plenty of times you can get him so it doesn't really matter if you save him or kill him but if you want to get the transcribe, this particular transcribe, you have to kill him. Okay, then heading back into the cargo bay area. Or the exterior at least, the explosion. And you're going to find Jessica right there. And this is where you would put in the number for the code, or for the container. And you can dock containers, depending on which number you want to put in. So I just saved Dr. Igwe. So let me speed this up. Okay, before you bolt away from this area, read the emails, why not? And then we're going to go find Riley Butler. Okay, so from this PC right here, we're going to head left into the office. Again, remember, these, these three can only be found at this point in the game. I haven't put that to the test, but I'm not going to either. Okay, now we're going to head inside the cargo bay. And you could come inside this area through any of these containers here, depending on which one you've docked. Right, this is this side at least, and down here under the lift, we're going to find Ash Lazay. Now we're going to head back up to the fuel storage area. We're going to find Diane Washington up here. And next is Gus Magil. Magil? Magil? I don't know. Gus. Gus is down here. So avoid the incredibly hot blue flames, and in the center here, you will find this individual. So from here, we're going to continue straight forward. You might not be a ninja like this yet, but at least I'm showing you the locations. So up here, we are going to find Gerald Wildman. Wild, Gerald Wildman. Okay, next up is going to be all the crew members that are still alive. And I did a little test to see what it actually takes for, for it to register on the computer. So I walked up to one, 
let him start talking to me but didn't push square and he was not registered you have to talk to each individual by pushing square on ps4 starting with mr cool water pistols for all the good they do Captain Elizar will watch to you. And Darcy Maddox. Kevin Hague. He he might have survived longer she fell as our to talk to you. Then we're going to head upstairs. And it is going to be Alfred Rose. This move makes me sick. Sam Hertz. I work for a living. And then Sarah Elizar. over there. Don't tell her I said that. So well, Dr. Igwe can be hanging around any of this area, cars. so he's not going to be Only difficult to find. The door to cargo bay and he also has a mission marker bay. above his head, so that one is going to be simples. But he will walk into the room you were just in, and he'll stand still, and then you can talk to him easily. There oh we have God. Ekaterina Musalav, I, I think. I don't know yep. what I thought. Sure, why not? Then is from here, over? we're going to go get Enoch Kuneva, I think it is. I'm not going to attempt to do that correctly, but this chick is a phantom, and this is after the big battle. All the guys rush the door and search these remains here, and one of them should be Enoch. Well, that's where she spawned for me. Next up, we're going to have Christopher Smith, who's just around the corner. And just a little bit further, we have Quentin Purvis. And that is going to be the final one for these two sections. Guys, I want to say thanks for watching, and I hope you're able to find these employees easy enough. And I still haven't got the trophy for this. I've still got a couple more to find. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, because some of them just don't spawn. So I'm going to try my damnedest to find them all, or just to tell you where they are each located. So I want to say thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.